Hello, my name is Mark Fennell, and today I'm going to talk to you about the nature of a photon. What exactly is a photon? What if we could actually hold the photon in our hands and take a look at it? Well, I have seen the interior of a photon, and I know exactly what it looks like. So today I'm going to show you and describe to you exactly what the interior of a photon is. The essence of a photon is it's a sphere. It's a ball of energy. And in this ball of energy are two fields. There's the electrical field, which may go up and down, and the magnetic field, which will go left and right. Now these fields are contained inside the sphere, and altogether it is the energy of the sphere that makes the specific photon what it is. I've got a picture to demonstrate. This is a diagram of the interior of a photon. You will see that it contains a series of energy strings. There are magnetic energy strings and electrical energy strings. And all of these strings are contained within the sphere that is the photon. You will also notice that there are spaces between the strings. This is important because the strings are not fixed in place. The strings actually migrate in different directions. And part of their migration, the exact nature of the migration, is one of the factors which contributes to the phenomenons that we observe in electromagnetic radiation. I want to emphasize again that the key elements of the photon are these energy strings. So what are these energy strings? Energy strings are both mass and energy. Einstein pointed out many years ago that all objects have mass and energy. Thus anything with mass has energy, anything with energy has mass. On a large scale it's difficult for us to see this. On a quantum scale it's much easier. The energy string is where we get to the essence of energy equaling mass mass equaling energy. It is the cusp. It is the link, the missing link in the entities that there are in the universe. Thus the energy strings are objects that do have mass, but they are containers that contain energy. So each one of these energy strings is an object with mass. Each one of these energy strings has a certain amount of energy. The total number of strings the arrangement of strings will determine the properties of the photon. The total mass of the strings, the total energy of the strings, will also contribute to the properties of a particular photon. And as we go throughout this series of videos, and also in my book that we publish soon, you will see exactly how these energy strings will produce all the phenomenon that's been observed over the past 200 years on electromagnetic radiation. So again, what is a photon? It's a sphere with energy strings. Two types of energy strings. Electrical energy strings and magnetic energy strings. Each string has mass, each string has energy. The arrangement of strings, the number of strings, the total mass, the total of energy inside a particular sphere is what makes a particular photon unique, producing the frequency, interference, diffraction, all other properties, which will be shown in future videos.